AMS gang, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Liam, and in 2018, I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS. If you wanna be part of the gang, stay straightforward, just smash that subscribe button. Uh, in this video, I wanna do a deep dive into a topic that affects so many of us, and that is fatigue. We all know that feeling of exhaustion that can sometimes consume our entire day, but fear not, if you stick around to the end of the video, um, we'll have some valuable strategies and, and insights um, to share with you to help you overcome challenges and reclaim your energy. Fatigue is an invisible monster that can zap your energy, leaving you completely drained, both physically and mentally. And it affects not only your ability to perform daily tasks, but also your overall well-being. Many of you have shared your struggles um, with us in the group, and we want you to know that you're not alone in this fight. Fatigue is a common symptom of MS, but it doesn't have to define us or hold us back. The problem with fatigue in MS is that it can hinder our ability to work, enjoy time with loved ones, and pursue our passions. It can leave us feeling frustrated, isolated, and overwhelmed. But let me assure you, we're not here to dwell completely on the problem. We're here to find solutions and empower you to regain control of your life. So together, we can face fatigue head on and find ways that we can thrive despite our challenges. So how can we effectively manage and combat fatigue? Well, the first step is understanding its underlying causes. Fatigue in MS can stem from various factors, including inflammation, disrupted sleep patterns, and the extra energy that our bodies need uh, when they're compensating for those damaged nerves. By identifying the root causes, we can develop targeted strategies to address them. One crucial aspect of managing fatigue is making lifestyle adjustments. Simple changes like pacing ourselves, prioritizing rest, um, practicing stress reduction techniques like uh, mindfulness, they can all have a significant impact on our energy levels. And it's important to find a balance between activity and rest, allowing ourselves time to recharge without pushing too hard. Another valuable tool in our arsenal is exercise. I know it sounds contradictory, but engaging in regular physical activity tailored to our abilities. Another valuable tool in our arsenal is exercise, which I know sounds contradictory, but engaging in regular physical activity tailored to our abilities can boost our energy levels, improving overall fitness and reducing fatigue. It may seem counterintuitive to exercise when we're already tired, but studies have shown that moderate exercise can actually increase our stamina and combat fatigue over time. Additionally, we must pay attention to our sleep hygiene. Quality sleep is crucial for managing fatigue. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine, creating a sleep-friendly environment, and practicing relaxation techniques can promote better sleep and help us wake up feeling more refreshed and, uh, and, and energized. Additionally, we must pay attention to our sleep hygiene. Quality sleep is crucial for managing fatigue. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine, creating a sleep-friendly environment, and practicing relaxation techniques techniques rather can promote better sleep and help us to wake up feeling more refreshed and energized. But it's not all about physical strategies. Taking care of our mental and emotional well-being is equally important. Chronic fatigue can take a toll on our mood and our mental health. So finding ways to reduce stress, practicing mindfulness or meditation, and seeking support from loved ones or MS support groups, they can all help us navigate the emotional challenges that often accompany fatigue. Something I've mentioned in previous videos is cold showering. There are numerous videos online that talk about the wonderful, energy-giving, brain-fog-busting benefits that it can provide. And honestly, if you've ever considered cold showers, check out Wim Hof. I'll post a link somewhere. Um, he talks about how cold therapy can boost your immune system and reduce inflammation. So next time you have a shower, as fatigue inducing as showers can be, once you finish your usual hot shower, gradually reduce the temperature to something a little cooler uh, and just see how long you can last. Finally, a great way to discuss how you're feeling when it comes to talking to your family and people like that about, uh, about your fatigue is the spoons method. It's a great way for people to understand fatigue. By explaining each day, you maybe start with six to 10 spoons, depending on how much energy you've woken up with. Um, and then each significant task of the day will require an exchange of spoons so that you can say, wow, this, this trip to the shop took me three spoons and I only had about I only have about four left. So, so please bear that in mind if there's anything else that needs doing today. So there we have it. By implementing these strategies, we can gradually regain control of our lives and deny the limitations fatigue tries to impose on us. And remember, each of us is unique and it may take time for you to find what works best for you. So be patient and be kind to yourself and celebrate small victories along the way. You're not alone in this journey and together we can conquer fatigue and thrive in our MS journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with other people who might benefit from, uh, from some of the insights in the videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more empowering content on living with MS. 
We're here to support you every step of the way. So until next, we're here to support you every step of the way. So, so there we have it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you didn't, then you're very welcome to hit the dislike button. It's absolutely fine. Um, if you have any fatigue busting strategies that are working for you, let us know in the comments. And likewise, if you are struggling, let us know. And hopefully someone there might be able to help. If you want to join our gang, don't forget to subscribe. And there's other ways you can support the channel in the video description below. Uh, so yeah, until next time, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video and yeah, take care.